everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video before we get any further i do want to give a big thank you to nail reserve for sponsoring today's video along with sending over some new items for me to try so we have some gel liners cuticle oil and also poly gel i am very excited to try the nail reserve poly gel i have not ever tried their poly gel before and it is a new release along with the gel liners and the cuticle oil too so let's go ahead and take a look at the items they did send over I also do quickly want to let you all know I do have a discount code with Nail Reserve. That code is Brandy S, and you can save 60% off with a two item minimum. I will have that on screen and also down below in the description box. And then I will also be linking all of these products down there as well. So let's first take a look at the Art Gel Liner. So they did send over three colors. It looks like we have a white snowdrop, a black shadow silk and a red cherry twist and these are their new art gels these are also vegan nine free formula and cruelty free and they do have other colors available as well i feel like they sent me the two basic the white and the black and then also red this is perfect for the holidays so i just want to open these up out of the bottle here and see oh my goodness look at that pigment Nail Reserve has very pigmented gel polishes, so I just know these gel liners are going to be very, very nice. And you can see it does have that liner brush, perfect for nail art or like French tips. You can also even put this out on a palette if you want to use a different type of line brush or nail art brush dotting tool. Very pigmented gel. And these are also, um, let me see, these are 7 ml. And then we have the white, also very pigmented, and of course the black, which is also a very pigmented gel. Nail Reserve, like I said, I have tried their gel polishes before, so the formula is really good, very pigmented, and so are the art gels. They also did send over their new green tea cuticle oil, and I believe they did send me another cuticle oil before. So this was the other cuticle oil they sent me, so I wonder if they still sell this one or if this is just an updated version. This is also vegan, nine free, and cruelty free, and I'm really curious to smell it. I also love the bottle. I love like the pink or purple to blue ombre. And then it has the top where you just press the button to fill up, fill it up and empty it. Oh, that smells really good. I really like the smell of that. And of course we'll be using this to finish off our nail set in the end. They also did send over two poly gels. So let's go ahead and swatch these two colors. The two colors we have is Sorbet and Pink Harmony. And these poly gels are 30 ml tubes. Here is the first color very pretty this also seems to be like a really good consistency i will of course be using this poly gel today and i'm really loving this color here i think that is so pretty the poly gels are also sealed too and they do have other colors to choose from on their website and here is the second poly gel color this is a light pink the first color i get more of like a salmon um, coral nude color and then this one it's definitely a light pink both of these colors are very pretty and I will be using one of these for today's nail set so we can try these out I'm actually really excited that nail reserve did launch poly gels so I have decided to use this color of poly gel I feel like it's more of a nude shade and will be perfect for the base of all of the nails I also am going to be using my dual forms, so I just have my favorite dual forms all sized out and I have them propped up on the little nail stand here. And then off to the side, I do have my poly gel brush and slip solution. For my slip solution, I am just using 91% isopurple alcohol. 
I am then going to take my poly gel. I will be using this color for all of the nails. I'm not going to be doing anything special. This is just going to be the base color for all five of my nails. And I am going to be going to the furthest straight line on these dual forms. These dual forms are the ones that I use all the time. I really like them and I feel like I can get a really nice nail with them. So I'm going to go to the furthest line and we're going to be doing some square nails today. So I'm just going to tape take my tube of poly gel and squeeze that into the dual form. Keep in mind a little bit of poly gel it does go a long way. I also do really like the consistency of this poly gel. Even though this is my first nail, I can tell already that it is a stiffer poly gel. It isn't a like runny or sticky poly gel. I don't like when I'm constantly needing to dip my brush into the slip solution. I like when a poly gel is stiffer. I can dip my brush, work with it for a while before needing to dip it again. So the consistency is really great on these poly gels and I would really love to try other colors. I'm not sure exactly how many colors they do have available, but I feel like these are really good quality poly gels and I definitely would love to start doing more poly gel videos on my channel because I feel like that's what I started my channel off with and then a um, gel extensions got super popular so that's what I was doing a lot on my channel and now I don't use poly gel too often. So for the poly gel nails I'm not going to be applying them just yet I'm just going to be molding the poly gel to the dual form and I will not be doing any curing so after the poly gel is molded to the dual form to the dual form I'll just pop that back onto the stand and repeat the process with the rest of the nails. Remember a little bit of poly gel goes a long way. I know I mentioned that already but poly gel is a very thick gel and when you are applying it to the dual forms you can overestimate and apply way too much poly gel. You really don't need much at all to be able to just mold and get the poly gel molded out into the shape that you want on the dual form. And then also just keep in mind, I will not be doing any curing. Once I have it molded, I will just pop the nail, the dual form back onto the stand and repeat the process with all of my other nails. <laughs>
here my nails after I have the poly gel molded to the dual forms. I really loved the consistency of this poly gel. It was very easy to work with. I am now ready to get these applied. I just popped the dual form off of the nail stand and I also wanted to mention I did go in with my peel off base coat. Of course, if you want these nails to last, you will want to go in with natural nail prep. But then I'm just going to take the dual form and place it down onto my natural nail. Generally, I will have some spillage, so I'm just going to take my poly gel brush and clean any of that poly gel up from the sides. And I'll also go on the underside of the nail just to smooth everything out. Before moving on to the next nail, I will go ahead and flash cure this nail first just so it doesn't move around. And then I will repeat the process by applying all of the other nails. I just want to make sure I'm cleaning up any poly gel on my skin and also going on the underside of the nail to smooth out the poly gel before doing my flash cure. Once I do have all of the nails applied, I will then do my full cure. For poly gel, I like to do two full 60 second cures. I'll do my first cure with my hand in the nail lamp, palm facing down for 60 seconds, and then I will do another cure with my palm facing up. And that is just to be sure that the poly gel does cure, cure fully and all the way through. <laughs> Here are the nails after I have them all applied and I did my full cure in my large nail lamp. Now I am going to remove the dual forms. This is always a very satisfying process but with my peel off base coat it does get a little scary sometimes. These nails are looking very, very good. I'm now going to take a lint-free wipe with some rubbing alcohol just to remove the sticky layer from the top and underside of the nails. <laughs> Overall, the nail shape isn't bad, but I do want to do a little bit of shaping and filing. So I'm going to go in with my hand file to shape up the nails. And then I'll also take my buffer just to remove the shine from the tops of the nails. <laughs>
Here are the nails after I'm all finished filing and buffing and now it's time to do some nail art. So I am going to start off with the red art gel which this one is Cherry Twist and this is going to be perfect to create some red French tips and I've decided I want to do French tips on three of the nails so the index pinky and the thumbnail and I'm going to start off with this and I will probably just use the liner brush in the bottle to do this. You can of course also like put some of this red out on a palette and use a different brush after you're finished like drawing on your smile line with the liner but I'll probably just use the liner to fill everything in. So I am going to start off. I always like to try my best to brush off the brush as best as I can so it doesn't have a lot of polish on it and then I will go in with my French tip so I'm going to start with my smile line and then I will just fill this in and then I will go ahead and repeat the process to the other nails where I want to do a red French tip. <laughs> For my middle finger, I am going to be drawing on a bow or like a present nail and I'll also be using the red for this nail too. I started this nail off with just a line down the center of the nail. Now I'm going to draw another line, but going from side to side, I will cure that too. And then I will go in with drawing the bow. <laughs>
for my ring finger, I am going to be drawing on a reindeer, specifically Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So I just pulled out the red and the black on a palette so I can use a dotting tool and I'm going to draw on a red nose, two black eyes, and then I'll be using the white for the antlers. Here are how the nails are looking. These are very, very cute. I was thinking about adding on white snowflakes to the French tip nails and I have some white snowflake stickers so that will be perfect. That way I don't even need to worry about drawing them. That is very cute. Now I'm gonna go in with my top coat and I'm gonna apply this to all of the nails and then I will cure in my nail lamp. Here are the nails after I have my top coat applied and cured. I'm now going to go in with the Nail Reserve Green Tea Cuticle Oil. I'm going to apply this to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of these nails. I really love how they turned out and also the nail art was very easy and beginner friendly, especially with the art gel liners. I really loved the brushes in those gels. I did only use the brush from the red and the white gel, but all of the brushes are the same, so the black will be the exact same. Just be sure when you are using them, you take the brush and try to wipe off as much gel inside the bottle as possible. That way, your liner brush isn't like packed with gel and it isn't dripping on you while you're trying to draw out your nail art but I really love how these turned out the French tips look nice and then also the reindeer and the present nail very very cute and then also the snowflakes if you don't have snowflake stickers you can always draw them but I just thought it would be easier I have the white snowflake stickers I might as well put those to use and use those on the nails instead I really love these don't forget you you can use my discount code Brandy S to save 60% off and that does have a two item minimum so you need to purchase two items to be able to use that discount code. You can pick up the new cuticle oil, some poly gels, or even some of their art gel liners. I will have all of the products I showed and used in today's video down below in the description box in case you guys do want to pick anything up for yourselves. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.